I had this idea for a counter behavior that I could create in Flinto for Mac. What I want to do is create a counter that counts up from 0 to 9. So I've, I'm here in Sketch and I'm setting up my screen. I've typed out all the numbers, 0 through 9, each into individual layers. So I'm just going to select all those and line them all up in the middle. So I've got this big blob of numbers here. And I'm going to use the Send to Flinto Sketch plugin and send these over to Flinto. Now here in Flinto, I'm going to select all those numbers, put them in a group, and I'll call that numbers. What I want to do is hide 1 through 9. So I'll select 1 through 9 and click Hide Layer in the inspector here. And that leaves just 0. And so that's how we want to start, with just the number 0 appearing. OK, now I'm going to select that Numbers group and click Behavior. So I'm going to add a new behavior, and this will be called Counter. So the initial state shows a zero. I'm going to name this, I'm going to rename it to zero. And then I'll add a new state. And this one will be called one. And I'm going to hide the zero in this one and show the one. So now we just see one in that state. Make another new state, call it two. Same thing, hide the one and show the two. And I'm just going to go through and do that for all the numbers. OK, I've got one state for each of the numbers now. And next, I want to make links between these different states. And because I want this timer to count up automatically, I'm going to use timer links to automatically advance from 0 to 1, 1 to 2, and so on. So I can select one of these states and click timer link here in the inspector to add a timer link, choose a target, and a timeout. But the shortcut way to do this is to right-click drag from one state to the other. So I'm going to go from 0 to 1. I'm holding right-click and dragging. And uh, 800 milliseconds is the default. Maybe it would make sense to count up every one second. Uh, maybe this will be fun if it counts really fast. So I'll set this to 300 milliseconds. Then I'll right click drag on the next uh, pair and just keep doing that across all of these. All right, when I get to nine, I want to link that back to zero. OK, and that should be all there is to it. Let's check out the preview and see how this works. Great, so it's counting up now. That's kind of cool. This could be useful in a lot of different situations. Maybe you have some kind of loading state. Maybe you want to simulate a clock. You could put a different number for, you know, um, maybe each for one second and then for tenths of a second, something like that to simulate a stopwatch. Who knows? Keep in mind that the timer links in Flinto for Mac aren't guaranteed to be super accurate and to start all at the same time. So if you are trying to make some very accurate clock or stopwatch, it may not work perfectly. But I think that this simulates the effect pretty well. And so for any kind of UI where you'd want to simulate this effect, this should work pretty good.